Morning everybody. Now, I've bounced back from my failure on the gear change indicator. Yes, I'm out of my slough of despond and life is rosy again because today two projects arrived. The first one is the YSS fork kit as recommended by Mike, aka Rednez. Thank you, Mike. You convinced me to cough up quite a reasonable amount of money. I bought mine from uh, TEC because they were cheaper than anywhere else apart from uh, <clears throat> somebody who I believe sells them at a discount, but, but they're still good, a good buy. And I'll be doing a separate thing about them. And I know it's been covered before. Yeah, I'm sure it has. But I'm going to do it. And then if I run into problems as I, uh, you know, as I do it, might be problems that nobody else has had. Whatever. I'm going to go and do a video about that. But look at this. A Venhill clutch cable. Now this <clears throat> was also recommended by Mike. I think. Yes, it was. Thank you again, Mike. I noticed on my clutch cable on the bike that pulling it in, I get it occasionally, you know, once in every 15, 20 clutch pulls, I get like a click. And I don't know what it is. And I've checked the lever and I've checked the action of that. And I've checked the the bottom, you know, the bit the act that the clutch lever act, uh, cable actually pulls, you know, the activating arm, and that's fine. And you get this click. And Mike mentioned that he'd had the same thing, and, and he reckons it's the clutch cable. So I looked online, he recommended this, found it on eBay, I'll put a link as usual. This is a very fancy cable, it's got Teflon this and non-stick that and slidey bits and you name it which is probably why it costs 26 quid. However, it does look, even in the bag, it looks better than the one that's on the bike, which wouldn't surprise me really. I think, love this bike as we do, all of us, we do understand why it is a budget motorcycle in many respects, and you can't have it both ways. So, you know, for 26 quid, it's another little financial hit but it's not a lot so I'm going to fit this and I'm going to do it in installments again rather than video merging together because people have said they like it so I'm going to do that this time and I'll post this first section now so there it is I'll put a link to the Venhill fancy clutch cable and it's a, an overcast day today, still bikeable. I've just been down to the post office on my wonderful machine. And old fellas' heads are turning. Great. And young fellas' heads on the big fancy Japanese race bikes are not turning. Their lips are curling, I think, in derision, possibly. But I don't care. And I'm sure neither do you. So... I will do this in the garden, I think, and I'll post a little follow-up video, possibly two, as the, as the uh, job proceeds. And then following that, I'm going to put these on. I'll have to read the instructions. And look at that, it's got oil with it, look. Great, everything's there. Rear shockers are going well. Sag is sorted out. Not that I think it's a massively technical issue, particularly. People talk about sag all the time, but crikey, in the old days you whacked some shockers on and tweaked them until you felt happy with them is what I've always done. I haven't used calculators and measuring tapes and, gee whiz, anyway. All I've done is whack them on and then as the spring's bedded, I'm just going to tighten them up a bit. Anything's an improvement on the original one, so... That's all done, I'm happy, and then we'll see what goes on with these. They might be a bit more technical. However, I'll be posting later 
Fortunately, I probably won't get any criticism from my number one fan, Ava. Hello, Ava. Shout out. Because she's not here. She's in Scotland. Which suits me fine. Because I can now make this video without any criticism. So I'll post and see what you think. In the meantime, take care. Watch how you ride. And I'll update as I proceed. See you soon.